Hey guys, we're here in Chicago, and uh, we are at the White Castle the, near the uh, near the hotel. And I've been this is the first time I've been to White Castle in two years, and so they've got some new items on the list. We're gonna try them out, and so uh, I've actually ordered a sack of their new chicken rings, but there's. Chicken rings. A sack of rings. A sack of rings. <laughs> with my, I got the box of rings, but the sack is where it's at. And I got a sack of fries. It's a chicken shaped in ring form. Well, in its natural that state. may not be fair. That may not be fair. It may not be shaped. They might have actually found a ring part shaped. Shaped part. I don't know. I'm, so, I'm delirious. I'm so excited. I'm going to have these. I got six of them. But the two flavors are ranch and buffalo. So, you can see in there. We got the the buffalo rings, but what really got me was Ed, who's holding the camera here. He got the ranch wings, and so let's see what the ranch. All right, all right. you're gonna love this. <laughs> it looks like powdered donuts. <laughs> we decided to stop by at the state fair first and bring our own chicken ring donuts over. It looks like donuts that haven't really risen. Like if you just. Look like we got powdered sugar on it. No, this is not going to be Yeah, yeah, we, we were just looking at them. It's great. <laughs> I'm so hey, I'm excited. Gonna try, I'm going to try one of these buffalo chicken rings. We're all going to try it, right? Oh my god, it's all thick. Like, it, like there's like, like that stuff you get on the end of Cheetos that gets on the end of your fingers. It's like yeah. what it looks like on the end of these rings. Oh god, the, oh, get a closer look at the ranch one. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, look at this. Oh, right out oh, of the powdered shocking. sugar section. Mm, wow. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. You're gonna give us one a try. Mm. Yeah. Come Are you on. Sure you want to do this? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not. No, no, that is not good. Reaction. Oh, okay. Uh oh. What's I bought, the word? I bought nine of those things. Do you want to know what part of the is chicken this good? is from? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's chickeny, but the stuff they use to flavor it is like this thick chalky powder and it's got like a different texture than the chicken it, it kind of like the chicken kind of like you know you could chew it but then all of a sudden like you could feel the the, the crust kind of snap off <laughs> all right we've got we've got we've got to try the the ranch ones here can i hand this over to you i know we got we got brad got the ranch all right i want to i want to all right hang on i've got to try my ranch ones. mayonnaise on a ranch all right yeah okay oh that how is that you know what I mean? Like, there's like yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the chicken's good. The powder is not bad. The ranch powder maybe maybe a little better than the butter. The powder we'll gets to the edges of your lips, and you have to lick what the powder off. They just off. need to do a dipping sauce, like do the chicken. It's like, do a sauce. It's like well, that's it's, why I got the mayonnaise. It's like um, it's kind of like Doritos chicken, maybe Doritos chicken. That's what it's like. Yeah. Doritos yeah, that kind of that same kind of powdery texture you got on the end of Doritos, like those really oh, crusty man. ones. That does not sound appetizing. I would buy the Doritos uh, chicken. It'd be better when they did Doritos ketchup. Can I like uh, snap one off? This or one's something? actually better just because mm -hmm. there's not a whole oh, yeah, lot of just, flavor. In it. You can have some of my. To me, it tastes frozen. like really, really cheap like food that they used to give you in kindergarten, or like at uh, like a daycare Dude, place. Dude, it kind of does like cafeteria food. Yeah. <laughs> Although this tastes like one of the few things there that I would actually kind of eat. Yeah, I would order this pretty much all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As opposed to like the rectangle shaped pizzas that oh. we always used to get. I would bitch about it constantly, but I'd be like, this is the only good thing that I I, I do, oh, I do yeah. like the buffalo ones too. Do you want to try one of the. Do you want to try, try one of the ranch I'll try a ranch one. Do you want to put one of the better Yeah, like I, I, gotta, I gotta get in on this. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'll break it. Put that yeah, I gotta get. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh man, this is. I'll find the powder explosion. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Go, go, go. The powder explodes. I got a snap. problem, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't actually snort that. Oh. He had to snort it, man. It's 80s okay. weekend. Okay, here, we here we are, here we are. I like the ranch better than the Oh, buffalo. man. I was not... <coughs> that, I don't really taste it. The ranch? I want to say that. The ranch, at least, is a sushi motherfucker. Yeah, and I got some honey mustard, too. I don't know. This is better. I like the ranch better. Than the buffalo. But it, yeah. it, this is because the flavor is less intense. Mm -hmm. oh, but I can say the ranch is really salty. Really yeah. salty. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, I got, I got the cheeseburgers. <laughs> uh, did they actually?
Well, we were all standing in line, like, what do we get, man? Do we get the burgers? Do we get the chicken rings? Like, fuck it. We all just got, got one. Bowls. I just got one of everything. Yeah, exactly. I hate pickles. I'm with you, man. I didn't know that. Mm, yummy. Oops. Oh. Oh. Well, you find something? Did you find the prize? No way, did you? You know? What is what happened? There's a hard piece. <laughs> That's the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cheese. I got a bone. <laughs> you remember the one in one Hey, I'm glad we came here. I would have never experienced chicken rings. Right, ma'am. <laughs> oh, hanging in there. Yeah. Mine's pretty good. Mine doesn't have bones in it. I heard it. There was like a... A crunch. A crunch. There was a crunch. There was a crunch in my burger. An idiot would continue to eat this. <laughs> it's just that good. Hopefully... Do not twice. Oh, <laughs> you get, we're shooting like right into the sun. <laughs> it's like there's there's soft bits and there's hard bits. It's much because you it's, got the one slider that was like right on the edge of the grill and so we got part, some of the grill on there. Only part of it. Like and it's not like I'm eating a piece of onion, like the onion crunchy. That's not it. That's yeah. not like, it's like, a fruit. it's like encountering like a patch of ice in the middle of your burrito. The onions are the softest oh. things on them. Like yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> My guy's in this. Their fries leave a lot to be desired. They're, 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 they're like frozen, like they just reheated frozen stuff that you could buy in the supermarket. Try one of those fries. They're, they're okay, but every like place does fries. that. Every place does frozen. Like these are these are probably well, cheap. They don't attempt to hide it. They don't attempt to hide it at all. I they're mean, these, like, these uh, are cheaper than most. Like, like frozen, fries, the microwave fries, like, like the roller rings. Crinkle cut Orita fries. You yeah. Know those. Yeah. I like them. They taste like the frozen fries you get at the grocery store. I know, but. Yeah. Sorry. Get back to Joe. President of White Castle is calling. <laughs> oh, I got another one. What? In the same sandwich, different ones. Like a piece of cartilage or some shit. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's a piece of cartilage. Oh, God, did they just throw the whole cow press and just how they pass the sandwich? I forgot I still got four more chicken rings left. Oh. And they had a crazy. I just got one. I just got one. You know what I mean? That's all the stick with chicken fish. It's safer. I don't know about the fish. They got. They got to do like the McRib and totally got yes. Work around the bones. Wow. You're not crazy. The native. The native. The natives are like pussy. <laughs> They've learned to love the garlic. Right, it's my second one. Maybe this one will have some bone in it. Oh, you're looking forward to that, are you? <laughs> oh, by the way, you didn't have, yeah. you didn't have the bacon. The bacon came with the taste of the little rancid. It had that kind of like... I shouldn't be eating this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is definitely rancid. Well, it's oh. kind of like... I love the people who think that that'll gross you out if you look at what they... Uh, McRib looks like without the sauce on it and stuff like that. Like, really? It looks disgusting? No shit. I don't care. I'm still eating one. Because I was in Ohio a few weeks ago. Anytime that there's a White Castle around anywhere I'm going to, I have to go to it. Cool. It tastes better coming up. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys. You something to look forward to. I don't know how anyone eats here. <laughs> I'm being honest. This, this is no Chick-fil-A. <laughs> well, it's Sunday. What are you going to do? Just imagine everything at Chick fil A is ring form. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got, so, what? How far? Everything. Must, they're open 24 hours. That's true. Everything must compare to Chick fil A. Yeah, well, and Chick fil A is not open today, so. Yes, that, is, that yeah. is true. Rob was going to take us to Chick fil A, but they're closed.
do. That's why we don't have Chick Fil A in Springfield anymore. For the longest time, we had one in our mall, and they closed it down because the people who own the mall were pissed that they always closed on Sunday. Yeah. So the closest Chick Fil A we have is yeah. is so like the one right here. Away. Oh man. Probably. No, there's one in oh. Champagne which is like 90 oh. minutes away. We have a White Castle that's like an hour away. Yeah, you probably have the right way going dipping sauce for like everything. Mayonnaise. Yeah. yeah. Is that honey mustard? Mm -hmm. The honey mustard. The honey mustard? Oh, I know. Okay. Um, yeah, but I use dipping sauces for about everything. Oh, remember when Burger King had the quad stacker? Oh, oh. oh. quad stacker at Burger King. Mm -hmm. They still have the double stacker. Why would you do that to yourself? Dude, I can't believe Wendy still has the baconator. <laughs> they still have that monstrosity. Why would you do that to yourself for eating this? Yeah. In the list of fast food things, like some of the worst things that ever fast food companies ever called out, probably the McDLT was pretty bad. The McDeal no, the McDLT was just a regular hamburger. But it was just like the concept of it. The concept of it was stupid. Yeah. The, with, the with, the the splitting up the you get the cool side cool and the hot side hot. Yeah. Really Wait, what what's that? The, you, you remember the McDLT? McDLT? The McDLT DLT? was from the late 80s. What is it? What is it's it? it? All it was, it was, it was yeah. a cheeseburger with lettuce and tomato on it. Yeah. But they gave it to you in like this two styrofoam... Like a clamshell. Like yeah, like a clamshell. You would open it up and the, the top part of the bun and the lettuce, cheese, and tomato like would be on this side. The burger and the bottom bun would be on this side. So that way, their gimmick was you keep the cool side cool and the hot side hot. That way when you finally put, put them it together... together <laughs> you got hot and Dude, cooled in your mouth. Bring that up there. Bring the taste home. Use the original slider to some more mustard on hamburgers, chicken oh, rings. No, I tried some of that mustard. I got it right here. I could shoot a commercial for that, you guys. Here's the commercial storyboard. Did it even? There's a car. There's like a sedan with these two old people in it. And <laughs> it's late at night, and I pull up in a limo. Part B. <laughs> Do you have any White Castle Dusseldorf mustard? <laughs> you wouldn't pull up in a limo, you'd pull up in like this old nasty 74 Pinto <laughs> and roll down the window manually. <laughs> Actually, this is what I'm doing. Are you going to do that? That's this, is, say, no, this, is, this is really what it would look like. Don't say mustard, just say Dusseldorf. <laughs> this is what it would really look like. suck, drown them in White Castle Dusseldorf mustard. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for the camera shaking. I'm laughing so hard. We gotta do that. Delete the evil with Dusseldorf mustard. <laughs> we need to go I'm sorry, that's just the funniest concept we've ever heard. Harold and Kumar 3. Harold and Kumar go to Dusseldorf <laughs> to find the secret of the mustard. <laughs> Uh, hey, Harold, oh, that would be the best one. I just like a White Castle, though. Harold hey, Harold, did you hear? The they discontinued the, the Dusseldorf mustard. <laughs> we gotta do something about this, Kumar. I can't. I'm working for Barack Obama. What if we made our own mustard? What if we got the secret recipe? Why don't we just get our own mustard for the secret recipe? No, you idiot! No, I crave the White Castle Dusseldorf mustard. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, Dussel, the, 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 the White Castle's getting to your head. I think the botulism is starting to get in there. It's entirely possible. <laughs> I won't lie. Just a White Castle has to be Dude, the plot for a movie like that is not too terribly bad. <laughs> Make it a fan boys type movie, but about fast food. They're trying to find the Colonel's secret recipe. Oh, Sneak into Colonel Sanders' ranch. Didn't they try to make that movie with like that Christopher Walken where he's always like 
it was basically like an hour long, hour and a half long KFC commercial with Chris Walken. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh God, it was like what Carl Kumar was to White Castle. This movie was to KFC. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, uh, I've seen Poultry like, Guys. <laughs> <laughs> for the life of me, I just I wish I could remember it, but I remember the title. Oh God. You all right, buddy? Yeah. Oh uh, God! Don't puke on your uh, don't puke on your black pool dragon. No, I'm okay. It's like it's just like. That's why these bags, they give you have a protective lining on the bottom. I've had two, and it feels like I've eaten depleted uranium. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm just finishing my fourth. Uh, look at that. Look at him pack it down. Oh, I, had, I, had two, I had two regular ones, I had two Dug chickens and, and two fish. And I, I just had like two double You know what? You know what so. we need to do? We need to show the people what it's like. I don't think I've shown them. I showed them one. Can I trade with you, Bennett? Yeah, that's sure. There we go. Oh, they deserve this. This is this is uh this is the total package. Actually, this one looks like a pretty good one. As far as that's they actually go. a model white. Like and then there's the pickles. Yeah, this is actually pretty model. That's that's about as good as it gets. I'm sorry. That last one I showed you with the pickles all on one side. That was a that was kind of a poorly constructed one. Got to do. I don't Joe, know if I can do how, this. How you holding up? <laughs> I'm gonna hold up. Dude, I drink so, I drink so uh, much crap that my body I'm kind of like, uh, forcing I myself to finish <laughs> these off, actually. I mean, uh, Noah's right. The texture, you know, the, the chicken's fine, but there's like a, a powder feeling to the whole thing. Like you're eating powdered donuts. I'm sure on the ranch. I have do you want to try one? Actually. Yeah, let me get a ranch. There you go. All right. Look at the powder on this bad boy. Look, it's like. Do it. It's like this cloud of powder, like settling to the This bloom of ranch flavor powder. It's salty, right? It's salty. See, An I explosion like of ranch like in your mouth. Well, I never tried the barbecue one. I, I gotta There's try. our catch for you. I gotta, I gotta try the barbecue explosion one. Explosion of ranch. Oh, oh man. So, take a hit and do it. Alright. Do it for the team. Oh! No, oh, you're not supposed I'm, to eat the whole thing. I'm <laughs> gonna say this. This is a look of pure bliss. It feels like I ate a whole bunch of buffalo wings and then I got a belch. And it didn't quite get up under my nose, so I get like this whole <laughs> resurgence of what I just ate back again. It's not pleasant. <laughs> when Speaking ordering blowfish, must be prepared properly. This is the only part of blowfish you can safely eat. Fugu. <laughs> Fugu. Deadly poison otherwise. Ooh. Why are you doing this to yourself? Where's the part with the most flavor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I told you. <laughs> it's I mean, a look what that looks like on the inside. It's just like this white. I love that. I love that you mass. keep doing this. Oh, this you got to keep doing it, man. You got to keep going. I wish you had. I wish you had brought more stuff for us to try. Oh, guys. I know. Hey, so there's like. I will. Uh, I will let you mm. Trying to put it into words. You just taste the chicken first, and then the powder. Like dissolves on your tongue, yeah. and then like in a rush of like chalky Ranch horribleness, powder. you just it whoa. just like surrounds your tongue like this buffalo you know flavored wax coating. Those, you know what they could do with those uh, chicken? They could have their like as their own version of like the KFC Double Down, mm -hmm. and two of those little rings and like cheese and bacon. Yeah, it's like two chicken rings. I didn't try the Double Down. Oh, did you videotape it? No, no. Oh. That's kind of sad, just eating it to eat it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I was over at a friend's place, and I ended up getting it, and I tried the double down. And, I mean, it was good. It tasted fine, but it was one of those things. The like double down is one of those things I refuse to have just on general principle. Right, it was one of those things, like, I had it, and I was like, this was pretty good, and now I've had it, so I never have to have it again. Yeah. The thing with the double down, when I, I bought one, yeah. and I just took it apart and ate it like it was two chicken fillets. And that's all it is. That's that's all all it is. I went to yeah. KFC once, and I, was, I had, like, two that's chicken boneless yeah. fillets, I guess and I looked at the double down. Like, that's but all I, it is. I didn't eat it as a sandwich, though. Right. Like, that's that just seems like... It's just like taking the oh. entire box meal, just, like, lumping it
it together one big ball and sticking your face. And that's, 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 that's the KFC bowl. Well, that's that's essentially the, yes, the, the, the famous bowls. Yeah, exactly. that's the KFC famous bowls. Which is like, if you just took like the three-piece meal and just went... <laughs> it's something some <laughs> drunk guy would make at three in the morning, cycling through his fridge, like, see, I need a well, little bit of this, some uh, corn, like a little like instant mashed potatoes uh, in here, yeah, you know, let's put a pie crust on top of it. I do, oh, I love those things, though. I love the mashed bowls. I've actually never had one. They good. The, the Japanese are trying to one-up us on this disgusting fast food stuff. Remember the Seven Patty Whopper the Japanese Burger King tried to do? No. When they Seven Patty Whopper, set, and with, with the release of Windows 7, they gave the Seven Patty Whopper. Yeah. It was about this big, seven patties, 4,500 calories. Actually, I thought it would be more than that. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 There's also, sounds healthy. Actually, there. there's a restaurant in Arizona that's called the Heart Attack Grill. Oh, yeah. I've heard of uh, that. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the Heart Attack Grill? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I, I know I, either I saw an article on it or like a man versus food thing on it. Yeah, I've never been there. Um, there's Alice Cooperstown, which has the big unit, which is like, I forget how long. It's just, it's this enormous hot dog. It's it's like two foot long or something oh, like that. It's it's just covered in like three pounds of shit. It's, yeah. it's but, but but the heart attack girl has like this uh, the uh, what was like the cardiac arrest burger. Basically, it's burgers fried in pig fat. I know. So are the fries, and uh, they literally you can have like two pound patties, like yeah. like 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 they're just, they, you just have like four half pound patties on top of another, and the, even the buns are soaked in pig fat. <laughs> like top with like two fried oh. eggs and a ham steak. Oh, actually, they actually have that in Japan too. The, the, the Japanese McDonald's have like the uh, have like a one of those egg things, like those egg slice things, so like the, they use for the oh, those breakfast. Like fake eggs. Those like, like fake eggs for like yeah. for McDonald's. No, they're real eggs. <clears throat> like egg subs, whatever. Believe it or not, two yeah. two patties <laughs> and an egg and like a breakfast tomato burger. Just uh, it's basically like a Big Mac with an extra little egg slice put. Slip I right love in. I love when when they put real egg on burgers. That is amazing. It, like, it's real egg may be fine. Denny's has fake egg. Which like that. Oh, cool. Fake egg, no. It's a. I think it's a Japanese thing. Is that like I've I've had a I've had a. Hello. <laughs> I, 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 I was at I was at a Japanese uh, restaurant and they had burgers and they had um, a, like the teriyaki burger with egg on it, mm -hmm. like an actual like. You know, uh, fried egg. Over, or yeah, just like, fried egg. The yolk was a little bit runny. It yeah. was incredible. It was so good. I've never done that before. When last time I was at Denny's, uh, my buddy Brian got got that that Denny's burger that's got the egg on it. And they they asked him too how he wanted his egg prepared. Uh, we, were, we were hoping to God he would have said hard boiled, but uh, <laughs> uh, he uh, just got like stuck the egg on there. We asked him how it was like, dude, salad. how is it? And he's got a Tastes like a burger with an egg on it. <laughs> it's like you said, like poached. Yeah, poached. <laughs> yeah, that's not like try that one. I tried to get a poached egg at a Bob Evans once. They looked like me all I was an idiot. They didn't know what a poached egg was. Deviled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think our meal at White Castle is rapidly drawing to a close. Unless you guys would care to partake of the dessert menu. Oh, I was gonna no. say we haven't tried the barbecue pulled pork sandwich yet. That's dessert. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we're not gonna get at White Castle today. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need that barbecue pulled pork sandwich. You can just put a scoop of ice cream on top of it. Yes, put please. it on your head. Drive yourself crazy trying to get it off. <laughs> Time to beat your brain yeah. trying to get it. <laughs> you sure? Sure. <laughs> Beers. Beers. I think we've actually simulated oh, a marijuana high. <laughs> and, and this is what White Castle can we're, do. We're getting high off That's White true. Castle. I think we, it's mostly because we're all reluctant to actually get up and start moving there, going to White Castle. I gotta get a, White, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get a refill on my uh, White Castle soft drink. Oh, yeah. I barely touched it. Till next right. time. Right. Enjoy. <laughs>